Thank you for joining us for the podcast, man. Thank you, Amit. It's my pleasure. Completely my pleasure. Considering people run out of patience and people run out of uh, passion after a while, how do you keep up with all this? How, how is it that Maruk Demacia is the spine of the company? I have learned along the way through life experience, most of what I know. You need to just check for three things. You know, you also have the three P's in dance, you know, projection, presentation, performance. Here, I would say your three P's are check your passion for it, check your perseverance level, and then check prioritizing. So if you ask me, like, what's your ikigai? What's the reason you want to get up every morning and say, yes, new day? It's that the passion is still alive. All right. But passion without consistency and without the will to to crystallize it into something is just a dream. It's a figment. It's in the air. Work hard and be consistent. If you don't persevere, there are a lot of great people with great talents that fall along the way. They had the talent, but they didn't persevere. They had the passion, but no perseverance. And after all of that said and done, it is not easy, but it is not impossible. There is a secret formula to it. And I think um, you need to prioritize. It's very easy to say prioritize. Yeah. But what does that mean? How does one prioritize? So it's like a balancing act. You have to understand what you're dealing with. On the one right. hand, you are prioritizing family or you're prioritizing work. Then when it comes to the workspace, are you prioritizing people or are you prioritizing things? Then you have duties versus dreams. You have responsibilities versus saying freedom. You have ethic and honesty versus success sometimes. What are you going to choose? Mm. Right? So yes. you have a lot going on. You want to, you, you, you say that, okay, uh, you need to stay healthy, give yourself time. At the same time, uh, you know, you're crunching deadlines. What do you do? <laughs> How do you balance? Right. So I think what you need to do, really check why do you want to do something? If you find the answer that it's because what you really either want to do, sometimes we need to do what we need to do. Yes. Respond mm -hmm. to the situation and do it to the best that you can. But just check the reason as long as you're aware why you're doing what you're doing. Life begins to make more sense. You start to make your priorities by working backwards. These are the two words to me. It's like. In French, we say pass partout. That is a you know a key that opens all your locks, right? Like a master key. You say right. work backwards. Now, what does this mean? You have your blueprint, right? Okay. So it's like you make your big, you know, you have the big picture, you go with a larger plan in which you say, okay, I have to do A to B to C to D to E, whatever I it is that I have to do. And then you you um, break it down a little more. Uh, let's say that I need to um, finish my choreography by 6 p.m. today because I'm on a deadline. Then by when do I need to select my music? By when do I need? So I start backtracking. I will need at least three hours to set this choreography, right? So, okay, that's 3 p.m. I need to select my, I need to edit. My edit will take two hours before that, so it's 1 p.m. Um, then, therefore, I need to um, visualize what I want to do and select my music. So I start, I, if I have to select my music mm -hmm. by 12 noon, then I have to start my visualization by maybe 10 a.m. Let me simplify this. Like I said, we have the blueprint, so we largely know where we want to go. So think of okay. it like a river. The river knows where it has to finally empty out into the sea or the ocean, maybe. It knows yes. it's off. So it is going to take that course. But within that course, it doesn't measure the waves. It does, doesn't say that I will only flow a certain way. It's going yes. to rise, it's going to fall, it's going to trickle down, it's going to become a ripple, it's going to become a mighty wave. It's going to do all sorts of things. It will slosh around if it has to and mm -hmm. eventually, finally, find its way out. So go with your plan. But stay flexible. You can't be an absolute stickler for that. No, okay, now this is in my book, so I cannot budge from this. Okay, because we make the rules and we make the rules to serve us, 
we do not have to serve the root. Fascinating. This is amazing. I love this idea of going backward and ensuring that you first objectify the goal and then start working backwards. So I think that's a fantastic idea, ma'am. Thank you so much for that. Most of the times, of course, you're taking care of the creative aspects, but sometimes you also have to get into crunching the numbers, looking into sales, looking into um, other aspects of the company and major decisions are also taken along with so. What are the three things that you would like to suggest to the professionals who wants to get into this kind of business and ensure that there's less confusion? I would say do not measure your effort. Do not measure your effort, only the result. Okay, so one, if you say that I worked, how do you feel that, okay, now is the time to give up? How are you measuring this? In what quantity are you willing to work? So are you telling me that I will work at this for one month, two months, six months, one year? Are you giving yourself a time slot? Or are you willing to do what it takes? to get there. So for example, um, even with dance, if you say that, you know, I really tried, I rehearsed, I rehearsed mm. for five hours straight, I'm just not getting this. Mm. Okay, so is there a rule that you can't rehearse for eight hours? You clearly need it, so rehearse for eight hours. If you can't get it in eight hours, then take a break, come back tomorrow and do it for another week or another month or, a, or do it into 100, right? Mm. That is one. Don't measure how much you worked and say, oh, you know, I worked so hard and it's not happening. A lot of youngsters, I think they want a quick fix. Everything is quick. Even yeah. I realize how much, how short I am on patience when I'm working on the phone. Like I, I click and I feel like, why can't you go faster? Like, you know, it's, <laughs> everybody loses patience. And I think this generation wants the pie, but they do not want to go through the process of baking. You just want it all ready made. I want it and I want it now. But what do you want? I want the product. I want the end result. I'm not so interested in the process. You want to reach somewhere. You can't skip the process. Mm. So if we are somewhere where we are today, it has not happened by magic. Right. We have worked and it's taken years for certain things to come our way. But it's not felt like yours because, like I said, when you're enjoying every step of your journey, there is nothing you're going towards. You're enjoying your moment and you're waiting for the next step. And then things come to you. So my advice would be that um, do not measure your effort. Rather, the result. Look at, did I really get what I want? Do, you, do I feel like I can make it better? If this route didn't work, does it mean that I need to give up or does it just mean I need to change my route? Maybe I'm doing something which is not effective. Maybe I worked really hard, but I'm walking in the wrong direction a little bit. So there is not only one way to any uh, stopover, right, or to any destination, so to speak. Even on the map, you will find at least five routes to get somewhere. On our phone, we have four different ways of accessing the same app. So same thing applies to life. If one way didn't work, it's the way that didn't work. Check for it again. So stop, take a moment and see what's happening. I don't think there is a substitute to hard work and there are no shortcuts. Okay, so don't start by looking for a quick fix because then you're going to fall on your face at a point and feel disappointed. So when people say that, oh, you know, this is not working out for me, this is happening to me, why is it not happening for me? It's not you, right? <laughs> so um, you just need to snap out of that mode because these are the trends that I see sometimes that people want something really badly and really fast. So you need to, you need to check, am I willing to work for it? How much do I want it? And then am I willing to do what it takes? because there are a lot of intelligent people, there are a lot of talented people, but they have not managed to get anywhere, um, you know, as they would have wished to, only mm. because they persevere. People with lesser talent and lesser intellect sometimes have moved a little ahead in where they wanted to be, simply because they didn't give up. Just simply because they didn't give up. There is Terence and there's me. So there's always yes. a direct, um, you know, that we obviously uh, work together and we've started the company together. He's also my, you know, one of my best friends. 
there's a direct comparison. But don't, don't you want to be on TV? Don't yes. why should, you want to be judging a reality show? Shouldn't you? He's doing it. <laughs> I'm right there behind him, with him. I'm so happy that he's doing it. The day I feel the desire that I want to, maybe I'll do something about it. Hmm. You see, so if one had to get hassled, you can kind of, you know, go completely berserk. That, okay, no, now even I need to do it. You do it when you're good and ready or when that's your passion. So check for it. To me, the only answer was success equals to happiness. That's it. For me, if I am happy, I'm successful. I think that I have done something right in my life. I must tell this to all the viewers also. Today, whatever I am, a lot of mentors have played a very important role in my life. But this lady right here, she has taught me a lot, a lot. Okay, so respect to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Amit. So just to let you all know, this podcast is now available on seven platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcast. Go ahead and listen to the podcast anywhere you get your podcast. And if you wish to see our beautiful expressions and how we look, so go ahead and do watch us on YouTube because you can now subscribe to Life Lessons and More on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. You take care and stay amazing. Thank you, ma'am.